everyone and welcome to Rough Justice 84, given to me by Gamma Minus UG. Now, I actually know nothing about this game, however, the developer has requested that I play it. So, thank you very much, developer. I'm very honoured that you've asked me to play it. I'm going to turn down the settings a little, though. Hang on. There we go. Turn on little settings because you guys... I've got a headset on. It's very loud. Okay, let's see what this game's all about. I've never played this game before. I have no idea what this is all about. Ooh. I remember like it was yesterday. Oh, voice acting, yes. I love voice acting in games. We came up together. Dear Loud Supercop. Mage Arms Bust. Corruption in the department was an open secret. Well, what's your headline for some reason? Jim kept me on the straight and narrow. I'm not curious to say, did you get Jim from Gordon, as in I can say what they Batman? Did, but it was a setup. Simple Maybe not. Might just be me. Honorable cop in Seneca. Jim never stood a chance. Oh, poor guy. Couldn't have been easy. Even for someone. Wait, he got sent to prison. Poor oh, guy. I hereby declare that as of today, the Seneca Enforcement Act is in effect. I want that gavel. As your new DA, I can promise you this. We will I was gonna ask what DA meant and then it was on his podium. Isn't that a good thing? Wait, are we gonna play as Jim then or are we gonna play as his partner? It's good to see you, Jim. Sorry for the less than frequent visits. Oh, I Keep love on. voice acting. Can't give them the excuse. Not that I give a damn no more. I should have left after what went down. But life on the force is behind me. Independent now. Just like I always talked about. <laughs> Pension be damned. So we are playing as Jim. Uh Try this. Thanks. Means a lot. Well, I thought Jim was going to voice act that. Never mind, I'll read the next like one. Like I was saying, I'm done with the force. Have been for a while. As soon as they pass the SEA... For some reason, Hank's hair's annoying me. It doesn't feel like it suits him. Lining up to start their own agency. Oh well, who am I to judge? Cheating frenzy, I'm telling you. And where does Hank Kowalski figure into all that? I know you're the by-the-book guy, but I'm telling you, Jim, SEA really took the shackles off. Work to go around like you wouldn't believe. It's that doesn't answer my question, dude. Bounties, recovery, security. Tell contract, me about Kowalski. With the authority to bring in perks, asset recovery, access to warrants. Hank. <laughs> it's wild, Jim. Hank, you'd be a great politician. To hell. But all that work, I had to take advantage. But Hank, you know, well tell me about Kowalski. I ain't exactly the. Never been much of a diplomat either. You know, I'm going to say nothing because he's not answering my questions anyway. With on agency biz really uh, bent me out of shape. I maybe torched a few bridges. I've known you long enough to know this isn't idle chit chat. What's the pitch? You got me. I need you, Jim. I just got out, Hank. Can't you clean up your own mess? Come on, buddy. I wouldn't be asking, but you've always had my back. And that way yeah, and of course that landed me. We bring out the best in each other. Okay, Hank, I'll help you out. But what exactly is the issue here? I knew you'd come through. You didn't tell me about Kowalski still. But like I said, bridges burned, yada yada yada. Long and short of it is some big jobs fell through, and I'm short on rent for the office this month. So you need money. How short are we talking, Hank? Short, but it doesn't matter. I've got a thing or two lined up. When they hear Jim Baylor. You just said it doesn't matter, so why do you need me? Who's calling the shots? Your name's clean now. Oh, okay. Client don't like me, but with your face on the agency, that changes things. Right. You off a few jobs that restores trust. You know. This is a one-time thing, Hank, for old time's sake, and sticking your neck out during the trial. Me and Larry keep the lights on. They deserve right. Money, but don't tell them that. The place would fall apart without their support. You know, anyone who can put up with your nonsense is a special kind of person, Hank. True though that may be, 
Who can say no to this face? I'm saying nothing. Anyways, this is the agency. Not much to look at, I know, but like I said, it's a fixer upper. It's a nice agency if this is the building we're working in. Can I have some coffee? No, in order oh, okay. To accept cases, you need to talk to case officers in the agency. Right. Cases are tied to caseloads. A caseload consists of several cases. Right. Case officers can give you caseloads, which consist of individual cases that need to be completed. How many times have you mentioned cases or case in words? All right, let's get the ball rolling here. Accept your first caseload. Ah, uh, this needs to be a turning into a drinking game. Every time he says case or caseload, have a drink. Oh. Uh. There are many different case types. Ah, no, I'm saying it. Including security, repossession, fugitive recovery, moonlighting, and 24-7. Oh, God, there's so many cases mentioned. A caseload is composed of a number of cases you need to complete in a limited time, except a caseload. Are you sure you want to accept this case? <laughs> so badly. All right. What 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 do what do I do now? Case load accepted. Uh, do I press exit? Oh, here we go. These are your current available funds: two hundred fifty dollars. First, you need to hire an agent. Click the plus sign to access the agent screen. Okay. Agents are the bread and butter of the agency. Okay, I was gonna misread that. Each agent has a unique bio stats. Inventory and potential traits. Agents are busy people and your agency isn't the only one in town. As freelancers, they have the opportunity to work when and where they want. Therefore, the agent pool is dynamic. When hiring new agents, the presently available agents are shown. The pool is refreshed regularly. Agents are freelance operatives and are only employed on a temporary basis. They are available in the agency from the potential hiring pool, which refreshes regularly. Agents have different tiers. Usually the higher tier agents have better stats. Right now, only tier 1 agents are available. Action points are like stamina. Each action requires a different amount of action points. A stat roll is used when an agent is attempting to overcome an obstacle. Stats determine the number of dice an agent has available for a stat roll. That's a lot of reading I'm doing right now. By default, agents have two gear slots. More can be purchased. You can access the bio section to learn more about each agent. Each agent has a different pay rate. Once hired, they are added to your roster. Their shift will end once their action points are depleted. Rates per agent scale according to the level. That means higher level agents cost more money. That makes perfect sense. Based on this caseload, agent Erica Draven seems to have the best stats higher than, but whatever, we're not your mum. I'm actually gonna go with Erica Draven because I actually write stories and she looks exactly like how I envisioned one of my characters and it'll be great to have her in the game. So let's hire her. Are you sure you wish to hire this agent? Hold on. Oh, $149. Yeah, okay, I got confused. For some reason I thought it was $100. I got confused. You hired Raven, Erica Draven. No. Okay. Well, yeah, I like a bit of sass. The agent has now been added to your roster. You can unlock additional agent slots here. These are permanent upgrades, but don't worry about this now. There are more pressing matters. In the main menu, the game can be saved and loaded. Exiting the game is also done in the menu. This toggle feature gives you an overview of the active cases. This shows the progress of time. Contracts are time-based, so maintaining an overview of the elapsed time is essential. You can use the mouse or arrow keys WASD to move around the map. Q and E or the right mouse button rotates the map. Click on a security case icon. Ah, I'm going to need a big jug of water after all that talking. Oh, oh, not going to lie. For some reason, I really like this map. Oh, ooh, it's a food one. What's this food one? Whoa, hold up. We've got a map drop here. These are extremely time sensitive bonuses for your agents. Map drops offer either action point buffs or golden dice buffs. It sounds fun, right? Try and snag a map drop if you can. The time limited action point buff gives your agent additional temporary action points. This buff stacks and can overflow. 
The time limited golden die buff gives your agent an additional die during their ne during their next two, three, or four stat rolls. Map drops are a great way to give your agent an extra boost while out in the field. Oh, select. There we go. Once lunch. You can pause, continue, or fast forward any time. Time is automatically paused when a panel is dropped. Okay, let's go. Whee! How about this weather we're having, huh? I like your voice, lady. Please talk to me more. Destination Later. reached. After a hearty snack, Agent Draven is fueled and ready. Okay, so let's do the nearby I'm your one. Best agent on this security detail. That sounded like Raven talking, but I'm gonna guess it's Lucy over here. Security cases typically involve the safekeeping of objects or individuals. Each case has a tier which impacts the difficulty of the stat roll. Cases offer multiple reward types including money, reputation, XP, loyalty and action points. The case info gives you some important clues. Read the case information carefully to determine which stats are required. Once a case is open, you can determine which agent is best suited for the case by referring to the agent roster. Select an agent from the roster by selecting the agent portrait. The amount of action points required to send an agent is determined by the distance to the case. Click on start the case. Well, first I need to select the agent, then start the case. See, you didn't say that. I had to remember that one. A location. Okay, we've gone ahead and paused the time for the first session to make things easier. Thank you. Once an agent reaches their destination, you will have a limited time to advise them on how to proceed. Take too long and your agent will automatically fail. Select the agent in the map overview. Oh, do I need to... Ah, okay. I was clicking the wrong button. Okay. Decision time. Choose the best course of action based on your agent's stat. Mouse over each option for more information. Tensions are running high at the film studio and Agent Draven is feeling the pressure. The general consensus is that another arson attempt is imminent. The best way to stop an arsonist is surely to prevent them from getting onto the premises with their fire-making kit. So we can watch the security tape or search incoming items. Okay, so she her perception is one, and her empathy is two. So we have a higher chance with an empathy roll. The dice roll mechanic for security cases is referred to as four and up. This means that a four, five, or six is required for a success. The number of successes required is shown here on the screen. Tier one cases always have the same difficulty. Times three success. Tier two requires four, etc. In this case, three dice with the result of four, five, six are required to succeed. Here you can see the number of available dice for the roll. Agent Draven has the empathy stat with a value of two. This means they have two dice for the roll. To increase your chances of success, you can use gear. Select a gear card from the associated stat value. Only gear cards with a specific stat association will grant additional dice. Don't have enough dice for the required roll? No problem. You can use your agent's action points to gain additional dice. The action point cost per dice is exponentially greater for each additional die used. Select roll to begin. Let's go. If you have a 4, 5 or 6, drag and drop the dice into the slots here. After the dice are slotted, you can reroll them if there are remaining dice. Here you can see how many rerolls you have. Once completed, click here to conclude the stat roll. So we have a four. We have a six. Ah, oh, that's a three. Uh, we have a three. Okay. Does that work? Failed. Oh. This is the contract resolution text. Read it or not, we're not going to judge you. Contract failed. After spending hours scurrying old security footage, which is hardly classic cinema, Agent Draven comes away empty-handed. Worse, there's been a second arson attempt while they were munching popcorn in the screening room, and the last and final copy of the horror film Cold Comfort is now lost to the flames too. Here you can see the rewards or penalties based on the outcome of the case. So, we lost reputation by the looks of it, but we still gained EXP, which is great. Finished contract. contract was unsuccessful. 
I'm so, so sorry. Make sure to keep an eye on your agent's action points. If they get too low, they won't be able to do much. You can always end an agent shift prematurely, sending them off and freeing an agent slot. When an agent's action points are... Yeah. When an agent's action points get to zero, they head back to the agency and end their shift. They'll eventually be added back to the hiring pool and you'll be able to hire them once again at one point. Have a bit of understanding, they're not robots. Agents need to recharge those batteries and go to the video rental store, iron their parachute pants, etc. They have a life too, you know. After a bit of R&R, &R, agents will be available again in the agent pool. Before for the next case, you might want to boring. send your agent... I don't like just hanging around. Thank you, Raven. You might want to send your agent to one of the shops to buy some gear. Click on the shop. Shops specialize in certain types of gear. The same gear may be found at a different shop for a different price. It pays to shop around. Shop inventory is refreshed regularly. Through case officer reputation to upgrade... Additional gear tiers can be unlocked. Higher tier gear items may be more expensive, but their durability and effectiveness are increased. Each gear card can be associated with a specific stat or a puzzle bonus. By using this card, their stat value is temporarily increased. Gear cards have a number of uses before they are removed from the agent's inventory. Higher tier cards usually have increased durability factors. Select a gear card and then send your agent to the shop by clicking on the go to shop button. Uh, these are all ones. Let's go perception this time. On yes, I want to buy a camera. This is the 80s. There's no same day delivery. Your agent will have to put the pedal to the metal and hoof it over to pick up the gear. When your agent reaches the shop, the gear is automatically added to the inventory. Now try to complete the caseload. I'm here. Okay, so I'm all out of time, guys. Thank you so, so much, Gamma Minus UG, for allowing me to play Rough Justice 84. I actually see a lot of potential in this game, not gonna lie. There's a lot of uh, learning involved, but that's okay. We can get through that. Um, it reminds me a lot of, um, is it 112 Operation I'm thinking of? It's a very similar concept. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this game. So I'll definitely keep my eye on this one um, to see how well it goes along the way. And guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.